Hey guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. Thanks for tuning in today. We're going to make an improvised bow saw today. It's a pretty easy process to do. And uh, it's a lot easier to carry just the blade into the woods with you than to carry the whole bow. Just because it, this is bulky and takes up a lot of room. And you can actually make this bow in just a few minutes yourself. And uh, I'll walk you through that process. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I found a little river birch here that I want to use for my handle for my blade. And uh, we're just going to be able to use this blade to cut this down and uh, use it. And I'm wanting to go pretty thick. I've got rings that are going to go on the end of this. And we're going to kind of loop the rings around the, uh, the trunk to make our, our bow with. So let's cut that down really quick with uh, just using this. And I also found that when you're using this, if you'll pull it towards you instead of trying to push it to, uh, while it's just the blade, uh, it's a lot easier to cut something down. So uh, I'll set the camera down here and cut this down and get right back to you. Okay, once we've got our piece cut to shape, and uh, it's about the right length, uh, it's about the length of my arm all the way up to my shoulder. And then we're going to want to come in and we're wanting to cut like a slit through here for the end of the blade to go through. And that should be enough. So, when we put this together, we're just going to be wrapping this end over. like so, and I've left a little uh, dimple back here where uh, one of the limbs were at, kind of hold this in place, and I'm going to pull this back to here, and we're just going to string this back. Let's see if I can do that from this position. And there we go. Now we're going to take this ring and we're going to lash it up on. It's basically a stop more than uh, this end, which is actually to hold it. We're just going to have to finish this off by uh, kind of lashing everything together really good and tight to where it doesn't, the blade won't slip on us. So we're just going to use some paracord and wrap this up. You could use natural cordage if you want. Matter of fact, I have some natural cordage and we can do one end that way. Matter of fact, let's just do the whole thing that way. We'll do the same thing for this end. We're going to kind of just lash this end together to make sure it doesn't, doesn't come flying off while we're using it. Okay, let's see how this thing works on a piece of maple. Pretty much saw that in two. Let's try a bigger piece of wood. Does a pretty good job on that. Something a little heavier here. Guys, this is Darren with Eastwood and Survival. This is a great little uh, accessory to add to your kit. You don't have to carry the whole saw with you. You just carry the blade, put it inside a uh, lot of them. If you buy the blade by themselves, come in a little protecting case. 
a little plastic case. Just leave them in the case. Add a couple of rings, and you'll have a bow saw in the field with you. So, guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please comment and subscribe, and I thank you, and I hope to see you in the woods.